The next step in setting up our DOS system is creating a config sys file. At the prompt, type edit space config.sys and press enter. This will open the edit program and allow us to start typing. For the first line, type device equals c colon backslash dos backslash highmem.sys space forward slash test mem space off. HiMem is our memory manager and should always load first. For the second line, type device equals c colon backslash dos backslash emm386 dot exe space no ems. EMM386 gives us access to extended memory and should be loaded second. From here, we can set up CD-ROM support by typing device equals c colon backslash dos backslash cd1.sys space forward slash d colon CD-ROM for the third line. Finally, yet importantly, there are three environmental variables that we can define here, which are files equals 30, buffers equals 20, and last drive equals Z. Press the Alt key on the keyboard, which will highlight the file menu at the top of the screen. Arrow down to save and press enter. From here, I recommend setting up the autoexec.bat file if you haven't done that yet, or continuing on to memory management.